It's Friday the 13th and time for the Hawk Squat Box. Here's your host, Danielle Hardin. Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Hawk Squat Box. I'm your host for the day, Danielle Hardin. Just recently, there has been a big controversy on Florida's new beach law. Here to explain more to you squawkers is Kristen Burns. Daytona Beach is known as the world's most famous beach because you can drive on it. It's frequented by tourists and Florida residents, including many of us here at school. Recently, Volusia County has passed laws banning texting while driving at the beach. Other requirements include at least one front window down and headlights turned on. In my opinion, this will improve safety on the beach. Combined with the laws banning consumption of alcohol, these safety measures could positively influence tourism and help our economy here. The law came into effect on Friday. So next time you're at the beach, remember, at least one front window completely down, headlights turned on, and no texting. Thanks, Kristen. The movie Titanic 3D hit theaters April 5th, and here to review it is Sasha Saliba. Hello, Jack. I changed my mind. said you might be up here. Give me your hand. Now close your eyes. Go on. Now step up. Now hold on to the railing. Keep your eyes closed. Don't pee. I'm not. Step up onto the rail. Hold on. Hold on. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Do you trust me? I trust you. Hey Squawkers, I'm Sasha Saliba here with the Squawk Box, bringing you an updated review of the Titanic movie that was released into theaters last Wednesday, April 4th, in the new 3D technology. This movie, which was made in 1997 and directed by James Cameron, tells the story of the hopeful turned tragic journey of the magnificent ship, the Titanic, across the Atlantic when it suddenly crashed into an iceberg and sunk, killing thousands of people. On top of all the historical information provided, there was the love story between the two main characters, Jack and Rose. Their love exemplified the clash between class differences and how love overcomes it all. Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, along with other very famous cast members, carried out their roles perfectly, making millions of viewers cry. The 3D was very good, but didn't make it any more enjoyable. If you haven't seen Titanic, then this is the perfect opportunity. Thanks, Sasha. Not only did Titanic 3D premiere on April 5th, but so did the new hit TV show, Scandal, as a replacement for private practice. Blaze Pichello is here today to review the political thriller. Hey, Hawks, I'm Blaze Pichello. ABC's new show, Scandal, airing Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, goes into the life of Olivia Pope, played by actress Kerry Washington, and her special team whose job is to protect the public images of the elite members of our world, such as ambassadors or CEOs. Having been a previous relations consultant to the President of the United States, Pope now runs a so-called reputation-saving firm. But with every case that comes through her door, her past comes back into the picture, when she slowly realizes that her staff, who fixes issues for others, can't seem to fix their own issues. From creator Shonda Rhimes. It is an honor to work for your law firm. This is not a law firm. The next great television drama has arrived. Where crisis matters. We're making problems for our client, big or small. Oh, what? It would be a mistake to think there will be no consequences to you telling lies about the president. A provocative thrill ride that's being called the best new show of 2012. Maybe this won't come out. Dirty little secrets always come out. From ABC's Scandal, series premiere Thursday, April 5th. 
In the first episode, Pope and her firm are called in to once again protect the president to try to squash scandals before they hit the media. That leads her on many missions to uncover the truth before the gossip hits Washington. The show seems to go along smoothly, except for the main actress, Carrie Washington, not being able to pull off the intimidating role of Pope. All in all, the show comes out to a 6 out of 10 flames on the Blaze scale. I'm Blaze Piccolo. You stay classy, Spruce Creek. Rascal Flats is an iconic country group. They just released their new album, Changed, on April 3rd with Big Machine Records. Now to review their album is Tiffany Conley. Rascal Flats released their eighth album, Changed, on April 3rd, 2012. This was their second studio release after signing with Big Machine Records. Some of the tracks on this album include the title track, Changed, Bando, Hot in Here, Let It Hurt, and Loving Me. The title track is a mixture from the stories that the trio has told over the past 13 years. I keep my knees, I'm here I stand. There I was, now here I am. Here I am. Changed. Changed is personal with scars and stories that lead singer Gary has yet to tell. Most of these songs are slow, and other than banjo, the only song that isn't about heartbreak or love is A Little Home. In this album, you'll find that the three artists are all singing, and it's not just the lead singer, Gary. My favorite song off this album is Hot In Here. It's a very upbeat song, and it has very catchy lyrics. If you enjoy more of a slow tempo album, this album would be perfect for you. But if you prefer more upbeat and happy songs, that then there's like only a few on here that you would probably like. So I would give this album a three and a half out of five. Thanks, Tiffany. And that concludes today's episode of the Hawk Squawk Box. Tune in next week for the latest news and reviews. Signing off today, I'm Danielle Parton. Have a good day.